Howdy everybody, Keith Warren at the Barber Creek Shooting Academy with James Eagleman. And we're fixing to show you something that I don't think has ever been done on video before. This is about barrel length and velocity. So James, tell them what's going on. So we got a 26 inch barrel. This is one of my old school gun barrels, so the accuracy is not gonna be great, so don't judge us. A lot of guys and gals that come to my school say, well, we wanna buy a gun and we run a suppressor so we don't want it too long or we wanna shoot long range and we need a long barrel. So this is gonna show you what a 26 inch barrel 6.5 Creedmoor velocity is and then we're gonna take a sawzall and we're gonna cut off four inches and show you the velocity and then we're gonna cut off another four inches and show you the velocity and let's find out where the barrel is so short that it no longer becomes useful for long range hunting. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna right. shove this in my ear. We got a meter I, down there yep, to show I got the velocity. a magneto speed sitting on it and it's gonna show us our velocities every time we pull the trigger. And it says I need three minutes of wind. We got rain angle of about 45 degrees, so going hot. That was 27.59. 27.39. So we did that three shot string. The velocity, actually we have an SD of 16 feet per second. So we got 27.41 out of that three shot average. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to cut four inches off this barrel and see what it is on the next one. All right, so I got my surgical tool here. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off about four inches of this barrel. Now I got a tape mark where four inches is, as you can see. So here we go, stand by. So, all right, as you can tell, here's our little barrel. We took off four inches. We are going to take it, and I'm gonna take a rod and just push through and get any metal shavings out of the barrel, and we're gonna go ahead and shoot it. So let me move it over to the bench. Right, so we have now made this a 22-inch barrel. Okay. Um, and like I said, this gun's not as accurate as it used to be because it's a, it's a burned out school gun. It's got about 4,500 rounds through it. Really don't care about the accuracy. I'm just trying to map the velocity. So when you guys see the impacts out there, don't worry about it. We care about the velocity. So here we go, stand by. Okay. What's funny is it literally hit right next to the, the earlier shots. Like it didn't even matter. That was a 26.53. Oh. That's how much we dropped, okay. All right, our velocity three shot was an average of 26.51. We're losing velocity yeah, big time. big time. But the accuracy hasn't changed. Okay, so we're, go ahead and let's yep. cut it down again. So we're gonna cut it on another four inches and see what we got. All right, so you've got to cut down to 18 inches now, yep. right? we went from 26 to 22 to 18. So I got the magneto speed hooked up to it. So uh, what do you say we see what the velocity is? Send them. All right. So what's wow. funny is the elevation didn't change. The only thing that changed was the left and right. And oh, by the way, our current velocity is 2281. Wow. All right, so what we did is we took all the different velocities from the three velocities that we took. We started with a 26 inch barrel. We had a initial velocity of 2749, and then we cut it down to 22 inches, and we ended up with a velocity that was 96 feet per second loss. Cutting that down to an 18 inch barrel, we ended up at 2281. That so is gigantic. 468 feet per second velocity loss. So This right here is something that I've never seen it on video before. And I think that uh, you have to agree, this is useful information. But I want to point out, a firearm is nothing but a tool. Yep. Okay, and these tools are made to do a job. So it's a matter of what do you want to do? Do you want to shoot ultra long range? If you do, you ought to consider a longer barrel, obviously. Correct. If you want a truck gun, this gun right here with an 18 inch barrel will do the job fine. So we've got tons of good tips on our channel. Make sure and subscribe to it and we'll see you next time.